Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I'm, I'm going to talk about a topic today on how to become a soft uh, a self-taught developer, how to become a soft, how to become a self-taught developer, or becoming a self-taught developer, teaching yourself to code, however you, you want to phrase it. I, I don't have a specific question, but I get asked this a lot, and I'm I'm going to make this video too because I'm getting a lot of pushback from some of you that I'm promoting coding boot camps. I've got a book, The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, and I actually in that book I I give you the three paths. I say college, self-taught, and bo boot camp and I give you the pros and cons of each one, right? And so, am I a little bit biased towards the, the bootcamp? Yeah, but, uh, but that doesn't mean that self-taught isn't a good way to go. It's just that the only reason why I recommend bootcamp over self-taught is because it provides you a little bit of structure and it sort of cuts out the noise. So, but I wanna tell you, if you do wanna become a self-taught software developer, how you can do that, because it's, it's, it's basically what I did, okay? And it's, it's definitely possible, especially today. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Okay, let, let's start from, from the very beginning on how to do this. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to figure out, okay, you want to figure out what it is exactly that you want to accomplish, right? Because a lot of, this is a mistake, right? I coach a lot of developers, okay? By the way, if you want my coaching, uh, you, can, you can check it out at simpleprogrammer.com forward slash coaching, all right? It's, it's expensive. But... I don't need to. I don't need a personal coach. I could just tell you this if this is if this is what you're trying to do. Okay. So, a, a lot of developers that I'm coaching, one of the biggest mistakes that they make is that they're trying to learn so many different things and they're scattered in their approach. Right. I talk about this a lot, but this is really really important. If you're going to be self-taught, the, the key thing is focus and discipline. Right. This is why that it doesn't work out for a lot of people, especially today, because there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of noise. There's like squirrel over there. Right. So. In order to, to do this, you've got to start with a very, very clear goal in mind, right? And there's so many different things you could learn, so many technologies. So what I want you to do is I want you to work backwards and I want you to go and pick a job description for the kind of job that you would like. Maybe you do some research and kind of get some general idea of what kind of field, what kind of technologies you'd like to use. But once you figure that out, then you go and you look for jobs, okay? And you look at the job descriptions and you see what they have in common. You see what technologies and, and languages, like what would it take to get this job? Instead of, because see, if you're looking to become a software developer, that's a very amorphous term. What does it mean to become a software developer? When are you, when have you arrived, right? But if you say, I would like to get this kind of a job, that's a better question, right? But if you say, I would like to get this specific job, what would it take for me to get this exact job, okay? Now we've got somebody, and now you could even call up the hiring manager, or, you know, you could just say, hey, you know, what, what would it take to get this job, <laughs> right? Or you can call someone at the company, or you can email them or ask them and say, hey, you know, I'm not applying for this job right now, I'm not ready, but I just want to know, like, if I were trying to get this job, what would I need to know exactly? Like, I read the job description, I have some questions about the job description, right? What would I need to know exactly? Like, if I knew this, this, and this, would that be, like, what you're looking for? You see what I'm saying? You might even be able to get them on a Skype call or a phone call and get them to, to give you some of that information. Now you've got somewhere to go, okay? Now you've got a goal in mind. Another way to do this would be to say, like, let's say that you want to be able to build an app, okay? Well, if you, if you, if you think, okay, I want to be able to build an Android app, and I wanted to be able to do this stuff, and you envision, or, or you see an app out there that's already an app store, and say, I want to be able to create that. That's a goal. Now you can work backwards from there. So from there, now you work backwards, and you have a skill set. You know exactly what you need to learn, okay? And now you can make a plan to learn that, okay? And so that's, that's what's key. I know this does, is, not, is not pretty, right? And it's not maybe what you want to hear. You want to explore all these different technologies and learn all this stuff, but that's how you do it. That's how you get, become a self-taught software developer. And that's where you start. That's not where you finish, okay? I'll give you a couple of resources. One of them, my favorite resource is Pluralsight. You can check it out here. I've, I'm an author on the site. I did 55 courses for them, and I taught on a ton of topics, so you can find a lot of courses. I mean, for like 30 bucks a month, I think is what it costs now. You can get access to like thousands of courses. Just sign up for that so that you can you can have the resources that you need. Um, obviously books, right? You know, my book, The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, talks about all this, getting started as a software developer, getting your first job, all of these things. So if you want to become a self-taught software developer, you probably 
want to get want to get that as well. And there's tons of YouTube tutorials and, and free stuff out there. Uh, you know, one one resource a lot of people have been recommending is uh, is Free Code Camp, right? Which has a ton of it's, it's basically self-taught, right? It's not really Code Camp because you're self-teaching yourself, right? You're getting a little bit more guidance. But there, there's plenty of resources. I don't, I don't really need to recommend the resources. And instead, like I said, the key thing is just focusing on having that goal. And then I'll tell you, once you do that, and once you have the skills required and you start applying for those jobs and you finally get that job, it's not done. Now you go and you fill in the rest of the stuff. Now is where I would start to learn some of the computer science stuff and the algorithms. And now is where I would start to like broaden my skill set a little bit, right? You want to have what they call as a T-shaped knowledge where you have, it's like a T, you have really deep knowledge in one area, but you've got a broad base, right? First get the deep knowledge in one area so that you can get the job, so you can get the, you're going to learn a lot from just having a job and actually working in the industry, and then you broaden that base out and maybe you can pick more specialties that you're going to go into. But becoming a self-taught developer is, it's not the easiest thing in the world, right? And it's mostly because of the noise. We've got so much information out there, you've just got to be able to sort through the information and the, the best way to do that is just to have an objective, right? If you have a target, you're going to be able to aim at that target and you're going to know it's still going to be hard you're still going to have to learn you're still going to have to you know devote the time but that's going to get you closer and closer to the goal because you're going to know which direction you're supposed to move right this is and like i said i could give you all kinds of you know pieces of advice on on how to do this but if you just do this one thing you'll figure it out if you have an actual target and you actually have a goal and like i said you're trying to become a developer to get that job or to build that app then you're gonna know which way to go. And if you need some help along the way, you know, if you wanna invest in some coaching, I could coach you on help along the way. That would be more valuable than me just telling you to pick a damn goal, right? Because that's, most people don't focus, right? And, and pick a goal, but try it first. If you're having trouble, if you wanna become a self-taught developer, pick the goal and see if you can figure it out. Most people will be able to figure it out on your own. It might take you a year. It might, some people, it takes six months to get a job, honestly. Like, I've got plenty of success stories on my channel where people have done that. So, you know, but I also know people that have spent four years studying and they're not quite ready yet because they they keep on switching technologies and they don't have a goal. They just think that someday they're gonna be, just feel like they're a software developer and they can start applying for jobs. That's not gonna happen. Don't go down that road. That's the dead end. All right, that's all I got for you today. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.